What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I want to talk to you guys about an interview I just saw concerning Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno had a lot of things to say. He was asked about the heavyweight division, and he simply said, um, Joshua is on point. Joshua is on game right now. He stays in the gym. You know, he's um, done a lot of things early on that it took some fighters 30, 40, 50 fights to accomplish, and he's done that in half the time, okay? Um, he likes Joshua, and Joshua is, since he's young, he's in it not for just today, but for the future as well. So um, Bruno likes AJ for the long haul. Um, he also said this about Tyson Fury. He said that Tyson Fury, you know, he felt that he got robbed in the Wilder fight, but he was able to come back, you know, over the things that he's been through, you know, and do what people th thought he couldn't do and then humble himself after the point and then get it landed a big deal. So he's very impressed with Tyson Fury and his attributes and, and his accomplishments. Um, now, he said this about Wilder. He said, Wilder, he just has a good punch. That's it. You know, he's nothing, you know, nothing special about him. He's a champion. You can't take that from him. But um, like he, he explained in the Ortiz fight, Ortiz really beat him until he caught him and got hurt with the, with that one punch. And, you know, that's partially true. Um, I would counterpunch that with Luis Ortiz, I believe, was beating Wilder on points. However, Luis Ortiz wasn't going to win a decision anyway. I've done a video, previous video on it, previous videos talking about that. And he wouldn't have won because he was behind on the scorecards. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I thought that was disturbing and interesting also at the same time. But uh, Frank Bruno, <laughs> I'm like, good God, man. You know, that dude with his laugh, you know. But uh, <laughs> he's, a, he's a trip. Um and he also uh, talked about the AJ and Dillian White negotiations. You know, um, he said that he doesn't blame Dillian White for what he did. He doesn't, you know, it's not a big deal. If he feels he was worth more, you know, that's why he held out. And, you know, he said there's nothing wrong with that. He knows his worth and he didn't accept the money and that's that. You know, he picked the best opportunity at the time. So, no, he didn't, ba he didn't bash AJ, though. But he did not ridicule Dillian White for not taking it. You know, he was like, oh, hey, that was his opinion. He felt he knew what his worth is. And that's that, which is a cool approach to, um, um, you know what I mean, to describe a fighter in a fighter situation. You know, it's it's better like someone like Lennox Lewis you know, that kind of uh, critiques in a negative sense. But Frank Bruno gave his own, you know. But, you know, that's Frank Bruno at the end of the day. Um, but he does like the heavyweight division. He does think that, you know, AJ is on point. Like I said, you know, he stays in the gym. He's staying focused. And counterpunching that, Anthony Joshua, I know he's a man on a mission on, you know, to counterpunch what Frank Bruno said to add to that. You know, he doesn't even want to get married. You know what I mean? I know he's nailing something, you know what I mean? But that's that. You know, it's nothing serious, nothing major. You know, and if he did say if I was going to marry anyone, it would be calculated more political than anything. You know what I mean? So um, that just shows you that his focus isn't women or anything like that because he said, you know, the, the fall of any great man is a woman. But you know, the best thing for a man is a good woman. So, you know, they discussed that in, um, I think it was in the, in the Breakfast Club, actually. It wasn't Sway, it was in the Breakfast Club. So, you know, that does show, another example to show that Anthony Joshua is focused on primarily these goals, you know, um, and that's boxing and his family. So, you know, you guys tell me what you think about Frank Bruno. <laughs> you know, my like, God, man. <laughs> But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Frank Bruno's comments. Um, this video, of course, leave your comments below.
Please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.